Find this latest execution is the sniper's ninth, and as we're learning tonight, she was much more than just a victim. Linda Franklin was a wife, a mother, and an FBI employee. Her life ended inside a Home Depot parking garage last night, and tonight, Fox 5's Marine Ume is live in Falls Church with more on those who knew her best. Marine. Well, Tracy, inside that parking lot here at the Home Depot, a makeshift memorial has been set up. Linda Franklin's friends and family asked not to talk tonight, and out of respect for them, we are honoring that wish. Any death is a tremendous loss, but this one, as you said, Tracy, made even more tragic for so many reasons. Linda had recently beaten cancer. She was expecting a grandchild, and she was really starting a new life in a new home when tragedy struck. Linda Franklin was the mother of two grown children and a courageous fighter. She had recently battled breast cancer, undergoing a double mastectomy eight months ago. She won that fight, only to be taken by a sniper's bullet. Linda was a loving wife and mother who watched out for everyone in her family, and her loss will affect everyone. It's a loss that hits home to the law enforcement community, too. Franklin worked for the FBI as a civilian intelligence operations specialist fighting cyber crimes. Linda's family is shocked by the senseless loss of life and is calling on anyone with any information about this tragedy to contact law enforcement, the FBI, Fairfax County, whomever. Friends say Franklin was at the Home Depot with her husband Ted Monday night, buying supplies for a move this Friday to a new house. Now the Arlington apartment the couple was leaving is a place where friends gather to grieve and shock neighbors struggle to make sense of the senseless. I burst into tears. I mean, I just, it's too close. Oh, it definitely was. It definitely hit home. Actually, after we found out it was our neighbor. Just hearing that it was down the street at Home Depot was shocking. And at the Home Depot, candles and flowers now rest where Franklin was gunned down, a makeshift memorial for another innocent victim of the serial sniper. Funeral arrangements are yet to be made, but we are told that a family friend will be talking on some morning programs in the morning about the life and loss of Linda Franklin. In Falls Church, Maureen Ume, Fox 5 News. Maureen, thanks so much. The city of brotherly love today showered some of that love on the family of one of the sniper's other victims. The mayor of Philadelphia was among hundreds who turned out today for a memorial service to honor Kenneth Bridges. He was a successful businessman who was gunned down Friday morning just off I-95 in Spotsylvania County. He is survived by a wife of 25 years and six children. Now our coverage on the serial sniper continues right after this quick break. Still ahead, reckless and out of control. That's how one former FBI agent describes the killer, what he thinks will happen by the end of this week. Plus, police are asking for your help tonight to track down this killer still ahead. We take a look at the critical cases solved by the public in the past. I'm Sue Palka. Light rain falling now. It's going to get much heavier very soon, and the wind is really starting to pick up around the region. I think you're going to need extra time for that morning commute. I'll have details a little later.